hi guys you're welcome to my channel if this is your first time thank you for tuning into my channel so in today's tutorial we are going to be learning how to make this simple ankara dress let's get right into the video okay these are the tools we are going to be needing to draft out our pattern for our dress we are going to need our marker pencil and we're also going to need pencil eraser you are going to need your measurement and you need your tape measure and lastly you need your pattern master if you don't have a pattern master you can work with the tools that you have as long as you get the same results i went ahead to mark out my borderline for the front and the side and i also went ahead to mark out my front waistline i moved on to marking my shoulder width then after that i moved on to marking out my bust point and i went up by 1.5 inches and that will be my bust line and i'll just go ahead to square across then i'll move my shoulder measurement down to my bust line and whatever i get i'm just going to roll from my bust line to my shoulder line I went ahead to mark out 1.5 inches for my shoulder slant. After I marked out my shoulder slant, I'll just mark out my neck depth, which I use 3x1 for the back and 3x3 for the front. After I'm done marking out my neck depth, I move ahead to slant my shoulder, my shoulder, and I also move ahead to cover out my neck depth. I first of all cover out the depth for the back and I move also to curve out the neck depth for my front once i'm done with that i went up for my bust line by three inches just to get my across across chest once i'm done with that i went inward by half of an inch and i gave it a curve from my across line to my shoulder line and once i'm done with that i went ahead to mark out my bust circumference divided by four plus half of an inch is allowance I was done with adding my bust circumference I moved on to curving out my ammo measurement from my chest line to my bust line I also went ahead to curve out the line for my back because I'm using this pattern for my front bodies and my back bodies I went ahead to mark out my waist circumference divided by four plus half of an inch is allowance because I'm making a free dress I went ahead to connecting the points for my waistline to my bust line I also went on to mark out my waist to hip measurement which I got eight inches and I squared across after I squared across I measured my hip circumference divided by four plus half of an inch is allowance once I'm done with that I extended my measurement from my hip line down to my hem line which I connected the point together once I was done connecting the point together I'm just going to go ahead to mark out my um, slash line which I from the waist measurement I measured what I have there and I divided it by three once I was done dividing by three I'm just going to mark out my I'm just going to mark out what I got at the waistline once I'm done marking out what I got I will just square across I'll square upward and square downwards in order for me to get my slash line because once i'm done drafting this pattern i'm going to use it to slash and spread to get my half circle dress depending on how full you want it to be if you want it full you just slash it to the volume that you want it to be you also go ahead to mark out your pattern so you don't miss each pattern up so you can either mark it in numbers or you mark it as your front your middle front or your side front once i'm done with that i went ahead for my shoulder tip to measure my off shoulder because the dress i'm making is a strap so i just measured five inches and i squared across and that's going to be my off shoulder that's how deep i want my neck to be if you want it straight you can go ahead to maintain that line but i didn't want mine straight so i went ahead to give mine a slight curve 
at the neckline. So after I've done that, I'll just move ahead to mark out my um, shoulder from my off shoulder point to my shoulder. I'm just going to note the measurement down because that's what I'm going to be using for my spaghetti strap. This is my pattern pieces I'm going to be using for my dress. I went ahead to deep in the armhole. So this is my um, side front, mid front and my front. Once I'm done, I'm going to use this to cut out my front and my back dress. Okay, I went ahead to lay down my um, pattern pieces on my fabric. I cut, I placed my fabric on bias cuts and um, I'm going ahead to mark out my seam allowance around the fabric I went ahead to spread my fabric according to the volume of how full I want the dress to be so if you want it more than mine you should as well increase the volume of your dress so I'm going ahead to mark out all the necessary allowance that is needed at the side seam you just blend straight from your seam allowance and you mark out your aim allowance then once we are done with that we are going to be moving on to the next process once I was done cutting out my fabric, I moved ahead to turning out the neck of the fabric. After gathering the neck by my across chest measurement, and after sewing it, and I cut my fabric on bias cut, not on straight cut. I'm going to put the picture up to see how it was cut. Once I was done with that, I'm just going to turn my fabric from the back of the fabric to the front side, sewing it very neatly. Once you are done sewing that, we'll move ahead to trimming out all the threads in the outfit. I'm just going to move out to trim all the threads and the excess at the neckline. Once we are done with that, we'll move on to the next stage which is sewing our pocket. Once I'm done marking out my pocket, I already cut out my pocket. I cut four pieces, two for the front, two for the back. This is an inseam pocket. I'll go ahead to notch out my pocket opening which I use 7 inches feel free to work with whatever measurement that's comfortable with you once I'm done with that I'm going ahead to sew from my pocket from my um, pocket opening that's from where I notch to the other part of the ending part of my pocket opening so I'll just go ahead to run a stitch on my pocket and once I'm done sewing there I'm just going to under stitch my pocket to make it lay flat so the pocket bag does not come out of the dress I'm just going to under stitch once I'm done under stitching I'm going to notch out my pocket then I will sew around my dress and I'll repeat the same process for the front and also for the back once you are done with all this process then you can sew your dress like you are just sewing your normal dress with whatever allowance that you have worked with I went ahead to cut out the strap for my dress. So after I've cut it out, I'm just going to be marking out five inches from the middle point. You are going to fold your strap into two because you want to get the mid point from the mid point downwards five inches. After I'm done getting that point, I'm just going to notch because from that notch line downwards, I'm going to use that to turn my armhole and once I'm done with that I'm just going to be placing from the notch line downwards to sew my armhole in order to get a perfect strap so once I do that I'm just going to sew and turn I'll sew and turn my armhole then I'm going to close the side seam When you are sewing, please ensure to sew from the back of the fabric going to the front of the fabric in order to have a seamless finishing.
so i was done joining my strap i'm just going ahead to turn out my strap from the armhole straight down to the other part of the armhole and i'm just going to sew it on a very neat line because that's the remaining part is going to be my strap once i'm done with my strap i'm going to be moving ahead to join the third part of my dress i'll first of all fold the hem of my dress but if you have an overlocking machine just you just need to overlock the hem of your dress so once i'm done done with hemming the down of the dress i'm just going to pick up my um fabric to the front part and i'm going to fold the fabric into four equal um, parts and i'm going to notch the middle point and the side point so i'll be able to in order for me to be able to add my ruffles on the lower part of the dress so once i'm done with that i'm just going to pin out my um, prepared um, ruffles on the dress in order for it to be easy for me to join on the dress so i'm moving ahead to do the same repeat the same process on what I did on the dress on my ruffles my already prepared ruffles and I already pinned down the four points on my dress and I'll move on to joining the um, ruffles with a pleat on my dress but the design is going to be turning upwards so the ruffles part is going to be upwards not inside the dress so I'm just going to pleat this round the dress and once I'm done my dress is ready and I hope you like the finished look because it can be rock with a belt or a strap or it can just be rock on its own. In this process you just have to take it easy and pleat your ruffles easily to get your seared very well so I'm done adding my ruffles and I'm going to go ahead to fold the hem of my dress and once I'm done folding the hem of my dress I'm going to display it on my dress form for you to see the finished look This is the final look. This dress is so beautiful and comfortable. And we are going to see you in our next video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And thank you to all my returning subscribers. Thank you very much. Looking forward to seeing you in our next video. Bye.